friends, welcome to another weekend of Children's Liturgy of the Word. I'm so happy that you guys are here and I can't believe we're already at the end of May. Isn't that so crazy? I can't believe it. We're headed straight for the end of the school year and we are running towards summer. It is amazing. Well, I'm glad that you took time to be with me today to learn more about God. And today is a very, very, very special day. What we are celebrating today is called the Holy Trinity. And what makes this so special is that we are celebrating the Trinity, three, our magic number of three in the Catholic Church of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Pretty cool, right? I think so. Well, because it's a special day, all of our presiders are wearing white because it's a special day of celebration. We're celebrating God, so why wouldn't we wanna wear white? That's right. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you a picture of a family. This picture right here, that is a picture of a very special family to me. This is a picture of Megan, my niece, Sam, her husband, and Sawyer, their daughter. They are such of a beautiful family and they're so much fun. Oh my goodness, I love being around Sawyer and my kids love Sawyer, she's amazing. But they all, if you can tell in the picture, they all look a little bit different and they have much different personalities. However, they all have the same name. Their same name is Lawrence. So it's Sam Lawrence and it's Megan Lawrence and it's Sawyer Lawrence. So they all share the same name, but they're all very different. And today, when we celebrate the Trinity, it's kind of the same thing. We have God the Father, we have God the Son, and we have God the Holy Spirit. And they are all God. That's what they have that's the same, but they're all very different, just like Sam, Megan, and Sawyer. The Holy Trinity, like I said, they're different, but they share things that are in common too. And together, we'll explore that a little later on. Now in the gospel today, we are gonna hear Jesus' last words to his disciples. So put your listening ears on. I want you to see if you can catch what he says about the Holy Trinity. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus' 11 disciples went to a mountain in Galilee where Jesus had told them to meet him. They saw him and they worshiped him, but some of them doubted. Jesus came to them and said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go to all the people of all the nations and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to do everything I have taught you. I will be with you always, even to the end of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good job, everybody. We're going to talk a little bit about what it means to be the Holy Trinity. Did you guys hear Jesus mentioning them? He said in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's right. Well, today we're going to be talking about a famous painting of the Holy Trinity by a Russian artist. His name was Andrei Rublev. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but that's okay because I don't speak Russian very well. And the name of this picture is called Trinity. Now, the three persons, the three divine persons, meaning that they're godly, are pictured as angels because God is a spirit. The three persons form a very loving community. The father on the left, he looks with love onto his son who's in the middle. And the son and the Holy Spirit, they look back with love to their father. The father wears brown because he created the earth. And the son wears blue because it's the color of loyalty and purity. Jesus never once disobeyed his father and never once committed a sin. Now the Holy Spirit wears green because it's the color of life and growth and the spirit brings life. Now on the table, when we come to the altar, we have the gift of the Eucharist, that is Jesus, that he gives us himself 
to us in humankind. We join in the life of the Trinity when we're baptized, and then when we receive the Eucharist, we help spread the reign of God on earth. So we always talk about the number three being a magic number in our Catholic religion, and the Trinity is the exact reason for that. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Now we're gonna stand all together and we're gonna tell the world what we believe. Now today, because we're, we're celebrating the Trinity, we're gonna say something a little different. When I raise my hands, I want you to say, I believe in the Holy Trinity. Practice that together, ready? I believe in the Holy Trinity. So stand up and I want you to listen to what you're saying you believe, because that's very important. And you're, when I raise my hands, you're gonna say, I believe in the Trinity. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of all heaven and earth. I believe in the Trinity. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God. I believe in the Trinity. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. I believe in the Trinity. Now I want you to fold your hands and bow your heads and I want you to put Jesus in your heart and listen to the prayers that we're asking God for. Blessed are we if we believe in the most holy trinity. Now let us pray with all the angels and saints for the spread of God's rule around the globe. We pray that the leaders of the church will obey the Father, imitate the Son, and listen to the Spirit in all that they do. Let us pray to the Lord. We're gonna say, lead the way, O Lord. Lead the way, O Lord. We pray that the families of our parish will learn to be communities of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lead the way, O Lord. We pray that all nations will work together for justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lead the way, O Lord. Now put that one person in your heart who needs Jesus the most this week and say a little prayer for them. And let us pray. If you lead the way, O Lord, we know we can find perfect joy. Joy is what we ask for ourselves and for all who are dear to us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, as you go through your week, I want you to look at your own family and I want you to realize that there's lots of different things about you and your mom and dad or your grandma and grandpa or your brothers and sisters, but there are some things that you share that are the same as well. It might be your eyes, it might be your mouth, it might be your smile, it might just be your last name, but you do share something special in common with them, but you're all different. Just like our Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So have a good week, think about the Trinity, and we'll see you soon.